when resourcefulness and practicality meet a dash of artisan, even the most unexperienced don't stand a chance. At one time I couldn't drive a nail straight, but uh, I've progressed into what I'm doing now. 20 years later, it's Marv's love for the material that lights his fire. And it is a passion to do working with the wood. Wood is nice to work with. After retiring as a truck driver, he saw a much better use for wooden crates. And soon, his new hobby turned into a real craft. Because I wanted some chairs for our own patio. And then my neighbor wanted chairs. Then my friend wanted chairs. Beautifully handmade custom Adiron deck chairs. That's a small one. <laughs> it's not a small one, it's a big one. <laughs> that he sells at a very special place he helped bring together six years ago. Pat and I got together and started the market here in the square. And from what we started with, with 14 vendors, that's all we had. Today, that number has grown considerably. At one time, we were two markets, and we finally came back together. Like Marv, Karen and Ed are long-standing vendors at the Duncan Farmer's Market. After doing some research on the market's origins, Karen realized it's celebrating its centennial birthday this year. I discovered that an advertisement in the local paper advertising for vendors, and this was in 1914. <laughs> it may be hard for some to believe this market's longevity in a world overloaded with big box grocery stores, but... It is unique. Says Dale Letourneau and seems so to attribute its success over all these years to its constant ebb and flow. The market changes and evolves every year. Um, people are coming and people are going. The people who come to the market uh, come because they want to have a relationship with the people who are growing their food and they can pick up some fabulous presents as well. And Farm to table takes on real meaning here. However, this particular market has something special. In this market, what do I see? I see lots of love, yeah. lots of good people. I don't sleep too well on a Friday night because I get excited about the market. So I'm awake at 4 o'clock every, every Saturday morning. <laughs> it's like a family. We all work together and help one another and it's a lot of fun. These women came from Victoria to check it out. It's Girls' Day and making a day of it. This was one of the most diverse and friendliest markets I'd ever been to. That's a little bit too full, but I'm sure you don't mind. Marv had me convinced. Uh, it's a good place to come. Why? Look at the atmosphere. The market's on every Saturday and looks forward to welcoming you. In Duncan, I'm Raji Kavli.